What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Insomniacs After School or After Dark, this time with episode 12 of 13. Uh, last episode was absolutely awesome, of course we had the moment with Nakami and Magdari finally sharing a kiss, which has been teased a few times this season, hasn't it? I uh, wasn't expecting it to happen this season, honestly, again with the kind of fake outs that we've got so far. Um, but it was a really cute episode last night, we saw quite a bit more of um, Nakami's past as well, which was again very well done in my opinion, I feel like they didn't have to overtly just shout out what happened but we kind of figured out during the kind of course of the season but mostly last episode and again i thought that was actually brilliantly done personally but uh looking forward to seeing what we're going to go what we're going to cover today <laughs> hopefully we're kind of still on this trip as it's been amazing so far but uh do let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions still got an episode left and uh let's get right into the episode guys as I just said, we've um, still got an episode left next week, which is nice. Most things have either already ended or ending this week, so. Oh, rainy day. Guess it doesn't matter. I mean, he did definitely, he, <laughs> he definitely did not just say cats and dogs right there. Same here. So yeah, this show. I feel like this show again. I I don't understand all Japanese, but. I um, feel like this show more than most does take a few liberties, doesn't it, with what it says. I don't mind in some circumstance, but it's a very um, almost British saying, so it just feels a bit weird here. I'm not sure if it originates in Britain or whatever, I frankly don't really care, <laughs> but it's, uh, I don't know, definitely didn't say that. But honestly, it's it's quite funny, isn't it? How obviously with the rain last time, it was a completely different situation and it ruined the whole scenario. But it's quite a different reaction to the rain this time around, isn't it? Very different mood of the rain, whereas before it was kind of like an angry kind of downpour. This time, it's uh, almost quite soothing to wake up to this rain, wasn't it? Just goes to show how much is kind of based off um, where you're currently as a person. The weather doesn't change. It's how you see it. Again, completely different situations, but with an interesting point. Ah, uh, she gave you a kiss. <laughs> Japanese history. What is going on with these slugs? You trying to tell? Are you trying to? You trying to compare right here? But she might just take a photo for the for the gram right there. <laughs> the gram. 
I don't have Instagram anymore. I used to have Instagram a few years back, but it's just like, it's really weird when you think about it, isn't it? They were just pretending to be something, show themselves in a certain light and such. Uh, yeah, don't really care for it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it really is crazy out here. I do find it amazing how Japanese, house, Japanese kind of houses and such survive some of this because they are quite, um, definitely not poorly made, but they're definitely quite light. Same with American houses. American houses are also built quite light as well, I'm pretty sure, because it's quite a bit hotter over there. Japanese are more the more traditional ones anyway. They've actually got like literal paper between the walls. <laughs> Toe touch. Oh. <laughs> These guys got some kind of fish. Any other body part there would have been absolutely fine to me, but you got to have them touch feet. Emergency supplies. Don't get me wrong, I'm not too kind of freaked out about feet or anything, but it is, um, again, probably a, the least romantic part of the body, I imagine. I guess that's as close as we've come to kissing after, <laughs> after, uh, after the kiss. Oh, so the friends are here. <laughs> I can understand that. Standing a bit more proud, perhaps, Nakami. What a different air after the uh, after a release of tension. Like what? S'mores gourd. <laughs> Something along those lines. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm surprised we invited her considering how much she complains. Ah, he's here as well. I really like her. Probably the best at the side cast, isn't she? <clears throat> oh, she's not here. She's smiling. <laughs> at a, uh, in a mirror. Or oh, bananas. I do like a banana myself. So I kind of see those two perhaps dating as well, maybe. They're both quite nice people, aren't they? Oh no, someone brought some, some stuff. 
<laughs> really? They're actually insinuating this. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's probably just flour, right? But um, they really insinuated that. Again, this, that's something I'd do when I was like 16, 17. Honestly, and I'm I'm quite glad I got out of my system that early to be honest with you because after I finished school and people went to college and university and stuff That's when people started doing it like really big time. So Kind of got out of my system before then luckily enough I think that just comes to the nature of like going to parties being a teenager and stuff doesn't it? Uh, pretty interesting that they even insinuated that <laughs> Never seen any uh, I've seen a few shows cover drugs and stuff, but hardly ever you see shows like this kind of insinuate stuff like that. Although I mentioned this on Twitter, funny enough, last week I saw an episode of Golden Camry where there was nonsensed kind of sperm and stuff involved, whereas they, a week, couple of weeks before that, censored a lockpick in uh, My Home Hero, a lockpick of all things. So, um, yeah, it seems like there's a pretty pretty extreme kind of <laughs> uh, difference between stuff they think they can show and not. A sunset soiree. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, is that two of us here? Oh, okay. Must be pretty awkward here in that. What? Hot in the sky. <laughs> Did I read that right? You lost the aura of virgin. <laughs> I mean, it's not like they had sex, but uh, lost a little bit of the aura. Ah, that's pretty cool to hear. Oh, apologies, guys. Just got sound in my eye. How was that? No, well, this girl does look a little bit like a final girl. That's like an animal. Yeah, sounds like an animal. What? What did he just say? Because in Japanese, I'm pretty sure he just said, said like an old person. Again, I'm not sure what's going on with the subtitles. Apologies if I uh, imagine maybe some of your guys are different to where I'm watching. Yeah, as a deer. You know what? Funny enough, that takes me on a story when I was outside mine one night, like 2 a.m. 
recording the sound of this deer screaming and I didn't know it was a deer, it sounded like a bloody demon. Do you know what, I can kind of understand that. It sounded like a bloody demon and then just a couple of weeks ago I saw a video of a, someone put a video of a deer making a noise and it sounded exactly the same. I was like, oh shit, that was a deer that night, but again, I scared the hell out of me. It's a horrible noise. Worse than what we heard here. Yeah. I had to describe it, it sounded like a deer, but like a dying deer getting mauled by a tiger or something. But it was just a deer, just to make a noise. I hope. A whole crew singer. Chiawase. Holy crap. I'd, I'd be awful at that. <laughs> I can just about ride a bike as is. I'd mess myself up bad doing that. But oh, there's something between these two. Is it just me? Again, they feel I feel that like they fit together pretty well. Off they go. That was a sweet, short and sweet little visit, wasn't it? And they're always next to each other. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> Why do you have to make that deep? <laughs> Why you got to make that deep? <laughs> A little late for that.
Let's hope that's not a bad idea. I don't think she wants to let go. <laughs> I think she could just call. Oh crap. Oh, she doesn't have to let go hands. I mean, she can call one hand, of course, but. I feel like they just want to spend time in this kind of. I don't know how to describe it, this time and this vibe right now, if you know what I'm saying. They just want to make this moment kind of last longer. Seems like we are coming to the end of the, the trip. <clears throat> I can't imagine they're very happy. And we've seen from her circumstances where she doesn't like this kind of special tension and stuff and being looked after that much and that. Or well, the first argument. <laughs> so we have we have kind of been living as a almost like a married couple already. Wow. Couple holding hands and couple kisses, so she's not wrong really, is she? <laughs> not too inappropriate, luckily enough, but Ah, oh, no way. That kinda sucks. Again, more so than most teenagers, you can understand why she's been a bit rebellious here, I think. To hear that. Oh, I know. <laughs> Kidnap. Yeah, I can't imagine that will also leave the best impression on her parents, but like I said, sometimes you've got to live in the moment, live uh take the best take the most out of this opportunity before it kind of gets taken away. I like that. I like that from Un Academy. Again, that almost seems like something they definitely would have done <laughs> earlier on in the season, isn't it? This is uh very much the almost again slightly rebellious kind of boyfriend right here, taking uh taking the girl out after after dark and such and Again, not not what you'd expect from the early episode of Kami, is it? Like uh, his friend said, he's getting to that cool side <laughs> again. Yeah, a really good episode today, wasn't it? Really good episode. Except for the foot touch. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I didn't hate it or anything, but... Um, could have had like, a little finger touch or something, just made that a little bit better. <laughs> Yeah, really fun episode today, wasn't it? It's nice seeing them kind of their love kind of grow almost a little bit. If you can say that. And kind of infatuation grow over over time and especially after the kiss, seeing seeing them being a little bit awkward with each other, which of course you expect, but um also it being very exciting 